What's up guys, this is Donnie with Wakala FCA and uh, unfortunately Chris is not able to be with us today uh, but I got two great special guests that's, uh, that's here with us, going to hang out with us, uh, Mr. Travis Cronin and Mr. Ryan Pate. Uh, Travis, tell me what tell me what you do in, in Wakulla and, and you know what your role is around here. Yeah, so uh, I'm the student pastor at First Baptist Church Crawfordville. Um, I've coached basketball, football um, throughout the county at middle school and helped um, a little bit here and there at the high school coaching basketball and stuff. I'm also uh, the campus coach at Wakulla High School for FCA, so involved uh, with our students there as well and. Uh, just been a big supporter. I grew up here, graduated class of 07, um, played with some really great football players, um, great athletes, and so I'm always a, a big fan of the War Eagles, so it's good to be here. Great, great. And Mr. Ryan? Uh, youth pastor here at Lake Ellen Baptist Church, been here for 18 years, uh, serve wherever I'm needed in the county, try to be active in all of our schools, uh, have the privilege to be a character coach. Uh, with the high school football team and encouraged them over the past seven or eight years, I think since 2011. And uh, proud to see what those guys are doing, especially this year. Yeah. All right, so so one of the things I found out, Travis, was that uh, you coached a lot of these kids in eighth grade at, at Walker Middle, correct? Correct. All right, so my question for you is this. What do you see in the, the guys you, that's there now and they're playing, What did, is it the same – I mean, obviously they've, they've all got a little better, I'm sure, but yeah. what, what do you see that's just so much different or so much, uh, or so much the same? Yeah, so, so I coached at uh, River Springs Middle School, and, uh, but I had the privilege of seeing those what color middle school guys like Keyshawn Green and Desmond Green and Sage, but all of them, I watched them, you know, from, of course, the other side, but seeing them where they're at now, I mean, of course, it's, it's, it's light years uh, of a difference. Um, I remember in middle school, Man, you know, it's just they're, you're, you're finally getting into your body. You're, you're kind of uncoordinated, and some of them grow really tall. They don't know how to, you know, function um, until a couple years later they get into their com – yeah, I guess you could say they get comfortable in their own skin. Mm -hmm. And so seeing these seniors and juniors now from those the teams that I coached, man, they're, they've grown up so much yeah. uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Yeah. Um, so it's just it, – it's so encouraging for me. Now I know what it's like when teachers come up to me after I graduate and said, oh, I remember you, I had you in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. I, you get to see like what you put in, so to speak, uh, coming to this, this uh, fruition, I guess, this, this flowering, so to speak. Um, and these guys are, man, they're, they're talented. Yeah, uh, they're they're. I'm excited to see what what's going to happen. Um, yeah, the, the Ryan, let me ask you this question. I know you're you're pretty much at the games, buddy, and you got to. I mean, you're right there with them. You're talking to them, cheering them on. I, I I told somebody. I think it was talking last week uh, with Chris, and I said, you know, what's awesome about this coaching staff is the fact that you know every kid's got that. Dude, there's a certain way you reach them, right? You got the ones that's a little more hard headed. You know, you got the ones that's a little more easier to get with. But the thing about it, I, I noticed that when one got on to someone. There was somebody I saw you would maybe go up to them, and not not to baby them, but just to encourage them. Come on, you know what I'm saying? So what I what I, I appreciate, what I see as a dad, as a uh, as a fan, is how the coaching staff really does that. But what encouraged you about this team? Uh, this team's special. Uh, if you've gotten to watch them play, you follow or fame you or Mosley, uh, you see that they're, they're they're competitive, they're feisty. Um, they play 100%. Uh, there's effort at every position. There's there's no player that takes a, a play off. And I think when you see that come together, uh, especially this team, some teams don't buy in like that. Mm -hmm. I think this team has bought in, and uh, you see it by their effort. And to me, they're competitive. You know, we played Mosley. He probably outweighed us 100 pounds on the line. And uh, that didn't matter. Uh, they, they competed and gave the best effort. And uh, usually when you do that, you win a lot of football games. And we're, we're seeing God bless us in that area. Well, I tell you this, there's some grown men on that front, that front line. Because I remember I was standing by the fence, and I'm a big boy. I'm about three bills to about 6'3", 
And uh, these guys were towering as, 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 as tall as I was. And to think that they're in there uh, going against some of our guys was, uh, was and, and how we handled it. And I mean, we, I just thought they'd done a great job. Great job. Donnie, I think it, we got great players, but our coaching staff, uh, one, I'm friends with them mm -hmm. and I've got to know them as, as men. And uh, they're talented. This is a talented coaching staff in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, they get everything out of their players. But to watch them coach is one thing, but what I see is watching them off the field and caring for our students, you know, our, our football players, um, as they were their sons. Yeah. And uh, they look after them. I think that adds to our football team and that uh, there is a, a bond and a trust between the players and the coaches. And uh, when, the, when the coach gives them a play, uh, they know that's going to be the best play for them. Mm -hmm. They don't second guess. They 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 uh, they execute and uh, just a it's just a great relationship that I see. Uh, not only with our, with our players, how good they are together and love playing together, but our coaching staff as well. Um, it, it's really neat. Yeah. Now let me ask you this. Um, so I'll ask both of you the same question. Uh, hopefully, you know, don't cheat off the next one, Travis. Um, <laughs> but I'll let you go first. So what the last game? against Mosley. Was there anything that stood out to you? Like a certain play, anything? I have my own. I'm going to wait till y'all get done. Hopefully y'all yeah. still mine. But was there anything in particular that you were like, man, this this is going to be, this? I don't know, just something you were like, man, that that right there was just yeah. a. So, so being a player, um, uh, you know, you kind of, when you play the game and you've been around it for a while, you see stuff that, you know, a lot of people don't really see. Um, and so for me, I was a defensive end. So I usually watch the defensive mm -hmm. ends. One of the things that I saw a lot with our uh, defensive end, um, I believe his name is Andrew Carter, uh, and they were holding him all night long. Like I saw it from the stands, big number 75 from Mosley. This dude was big. Uh, and, and Andrew's fast, man. He gets off the line and he's coming. Uh, and so he was holding him the whole time. You know, you see his jersey flying and they just weren't calling it. But one of the things that I noticed is that he didn't let that like get him down. He mm -hmm. kept fighting every play. And sure, there was, you know, I, I got held, I complained, right? Uh, but to see him kind of get that mentality of, oh yeah, I'm gonna go again, go mm -hmm. again. He just worked him all night. Uh, and so- And he's number 75, correct? I believe so. Yeah, because yeah. he made a, he had a, uh, uh, he had a, had a hit on the quarterback. Yeah, hey, was, yeah, he's doing a great job. Yeah. Uh, but I, I would say overall, like just seeing the team not, um, not fold. Yeah. Like going to halftime, you're kind of, you know, first half, jitters are out, and you're kind of, you're not where you want to be, you're tied. And then coming back and saying, man, I'm the, I'm pinning my ears back and we're getting after mm -hmm. it. And the whole second half is like a completely different team shows up and we're just like, we're not intimidated. We're not going to back down. We're going to shove the ball down your throat. We're going to hit you. We're going to do what, to, uh, to, you know, what we need to do to take care of business. And it shows. By the fourth quarter, Mosley was. They're a great football team, but they, for the most part, they put their hat up. They mm -hmm. said, ah, we're, 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 we're kind of done with these War Eagles right now. Um, and that's not to say anything bad against Mosley. They're a great football team. Uh, they're big up front. Man, they had some, just a huge running back, great athletes, but we just kept coming. Yeah. And well, Chris, Chris made a comment that every time, it's, it's, it's inevitable. Like every time after our halftime, we got such a good core of coaches, right? They get yeah. together and they have something ready, ready for us yeah. to turn up just a one more notch yeah. in the second half. And we've done that so far every game. And you see, that's the great thing about technology. Now they got iPads and yeah. TVs, <laughs> and so you can replay, you can kind of replay these uh, scenarios and these, you know, and say, oh, here's what they're doing. This is the blocking scheme they're doing. This is what we need to do mm -hmm. to counter that. Uh, but yeah, coaching on the fly, man. This this group of coaches, when they get together and they make adjustments. They work. Yeah. So it's been good. It's been good to watch. All right, Ryan. So any any particular play or or anything? Uh, it, really not a play, but just uh, the overall game. You just the the, the effort. Uh, you can't teach effort. That that's got to come from the hearts of the of of the football players, and they had it. Um, you know, when you're looking at, against a guy that's outweighs you and. <laughs> And yeah. probably looks has more muscles than you, and that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't stop you. Yeah. Um, you know, we're gonna probably play some more teams that uh, might be as big or bigger than Mosley, and uh, you know, we'll we'll have that challenge again. But 
the effort that they showed at Mosley is this how you win games. And, you know, uh, there were some plays that we left on the field that uh, we shouldn't let Mosley score. Uh, there's some things that we can correct, even as good as the game we played. Uh, but the effort was there, and, uh, you know, the, the guys are in shape. They can, they can go five, six, seven quarters if they have to. They, they are uh, they're ready to roll. And uh, we do a good job of, of making sure that they're – uh, resting their legs, but getting their, uh, getting some good uh, reps all week, and, and they run really well. And so, by the time game time comes, it's there. It's an easier transition. The practices are pretty tough, uh, probably tougher than most schools uh, run. But uh, once we get to the game, uh, you see it translate in effort, and you see it translate um, in a, a fight, even when when there's something going. A little wrong, not what you have planned. Uh, they don't give up, and uh, that's the competitive streak that we have. So uh, you just saw all that to me in the modes of the game. Uh, but that's just one game. We got to continue yeah, yeah. to to replicate that the whole season. I was I was definitely uh, impressed with our defense. Obviously, we know what our offense is about, um, and uh, and that's another thing for me is like I we've got a lot of speed all across the field, you know, and that and that impresses me. But uh, the defense, one in particular play was the uh, the punt. Uh, the fake punt, and we stopped them. It was a, a fourth and uh, a fourth and I don't know, maybe one or two. I can't remember exactly, but I just know when they came out of there from stopping that, the, they just had this fire. You know, was just lit again. Yeah. And then uh, our secondary, man, I know we had a couple little uh, miscues a, a little bit, but we had some big time plays um, and uh, on some long throws that uh, that our secondary did some good job on. So, um, so man, first off, guys, I, I really appreciate what y'all do in this community and. Uh, you know, with these with these students, man, and I know y'all got a heart for all of them. Um, and so I'm gonna what, I'm gonna give you the last last few words. Anything about anything in particular? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna go to the game this Friday. Uh, travel to Gainesville. A couple students want to go, and we're gonna uh, uh, be there and support the War Eagles. Um, I encourage everyone to listen in on the radio, and you can go, go. Uh, this is exciting. This is exciting. I think this team uh, has a chance to really get involved.